Living in the Midwest, it always feels like warm weather is just around the corner following the official start of spring. And around another corner and another corner, yet eventually we hit that warmer weather. The problem that always faces us on those gray in-between days is what to wear. We're being joined by style blogger Nicole Lowe. She's here to show us how we can style a skirt for spring to keep our favorite trends at the front of our closets and add a layer of warmth. Welcome, Nicole. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you for having me. So we're talking about skirts, pairing it with a sweater, which yeah. I feel like when you say that, a lot of people might be like, what? Yeah, no, it's a really great option to keep yourself warm, but also embrace those spring styles that are just around the corner um, and not feel like you're stuck wearing, you know, the pants and the coats and stuff for the, for the early spring. So you're going to show us a di few different ways to style sweaters with skirts because I think off the top of our head, we probably think, won't that look bulky? Like if you're wearing a box or big sweater and then you have a skirt going down. Yeah, yeah. So there are plenty of ways that I um, avoid that, um, especially because I do love the big chunky sweaters. Those are really in. We love those in the winter. We love to feel all cozy and warm, um, especially like this pink sweater is a good example of that. But they can still go with skirts. Okay. Um, so what I like to do, whether it's a longer sweater or a crop sweater, when you tuck it in, you'll just tuck it all the way in and then you pull it out. Okay. So then it kind of drapes over the top of your skirt, which gives a bit of a blousing effect. Um, and then it covers that bunching. Yeah, and it, yeah, there won't be as much bunching because it's pulled out and it'll cover up anything that's weird. You can throw on a belt with that too to kind of like tighten it up and make sure it's not looking too sloppy. Okay. So you have a couple examples in here too. So let's kind yeah. of walk through these. I'll hand you this one. Sure. If you want to explain how you would style that. Yeah. So this is more of a cropped length sweater. So this goes really good with skirts because you don't have to worry about all of that extra bunching um, and I like to find pattern skirts because I love color mm -hmm. so I get pattern skirts and then just find any solid sweaters that go with them so I liked pulling the orange out of this I've also worn purple tops with it and mint green tops with it um, so this is good for fall it's good for spring um, it just really helps you be able to be embracing the florals while still keeping warm. So if you are using a more crop sweater with it, then do you have to worry about tucking it in? Do you still tuck it in a little bit if your skirt's high-waisted? So I'll sometimes do, just do a French tuck, which is when you tuck it in just the front and then leave the back kind okay. of loose. Um, otherwise, I will still tuck it, just pull it out a little bit if I can, or have it be more of a fitted look if you just keep it fully um, tucked in, especially if you have a more flowy um, skirt like this that has its own, like, it's it's a little bit thicker, mm -hmm. so you're not going to see that bunched up sweater underneath, um, so it can handle that kind of style. Perfect. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Yeah, so this one, um, I paired with a midi skirt that is really light and flowy and shiny and sparkly, and then we're just kind of calming it down a little bit with this sweater. Um, so we're still really warm on top. We've got the nice flowiness on the bottom, and just like with the floral skirts, there's lots of colors here, so you can choose from a ton of different color sweaters and tops to go with it. I love that skirt, the Thank different you. colors, and it matches perfectly with the sweater. It does, yep, and I've paired it with yellow sweaters and um, yellow shirts and stuff like that, too. So. And then this last option that you brought in. Yeah, so this is more of a graphic print sweater. So it's got this nice pretty heart on it. And I found this skirt that kind of plays on both colors of the sweater. And I just tuck it in a little bit and I blouse it out. I'll usually add a hat, either a neutral hat or a black hat. Looks really good with it. And um, then you've got a cute little outfit and you're still warm and springy. And then also you were telling me that you can pair sweaters with dresses. Yes. To give it kind of that skirt look. You have that on today? Yes, I have that on today. So um, this is actually a dress. So what you do is you take your sweater and you put it on over your dress and then you also have a belt on. So you just tuck your sweater up and over your belt. 
under your belt, I should say. <laughs> and then it looks like you've got a sweater either tucked into a skirt or cropped, and it looks really nice, and nobody really knows that it's a dress. So you can wear it multiple different ways. You could wear it, like this is a very statement piece, this dress is. So I could wear it as a dress one week, and then the next week wear it as a skirt, and it, people might not notice as much. And then you get use out of your dresses. Yes, exactly. Especially if it's like short sleeve, or you know, maybe a, a skinny tank top type dress that exactly. you wouldn't wear. Yep. This time of year so then you can get double the use out of it yeah or if you're going to an event where you kind of want to cover up more like say your dress has too much cleavage and you want to cover it up you can throw the sweater on over it and you don't have to feel like you're all boxy and um, shapeless now you use the belt to do that. Is there any other way to still wear a dress and a sweater yeah, so um, I've seen people do sports bras, so they'll put on their dress and then they'll put on a sports bra over it and then do the same thing where they tuck it up and underneath the sports bra. I've also um, just tied, like if I do a t-shirt, mm -hmm. I'll just tie it a little knot, like to the side a little bit, and then that naturally crops it and kind of gathers it in so it's more fitted. And then why should we have maybe tights, biker shorts, things like that on hand? Sure. So today's a good example. Um, it is very windy here in the Midwest. And um, the biker shorts are a really good way. Like if you want to keep this look, um, I've worn biker shorts under both of these skirts. Um, so if the wind does gust and blow up your skirt, you're not, you know, pulling a Maryland moment. Um, and you just keep a little bit warmer that way. So if you're trying to branch into spring without the temperatures being here, you can at least keep your legs a little bit warmer. Um, and then obviously the tights are the same thing, just kind of keep you covered until the sun decides to join us. And there's a lot of different fun pattern tights too. If you don't have yes. like a lot of pattern to your outfit that you could easily add to, you know, not just stay warm, but maybe take your outfit up a notch. Yeah, it'll add more depth and more interesting um, appeal to your outfit for sure. Yeah. Well, a lot of great things. I'm going to have to go home and go through my closet and figure out how I can pair some of my sweaters with different skirts and dresses that I have because yeah. this is really interesting to me. So thank you so much, Nicole, for joining us here today and bringing in some options.